This video is a review for the Unit 7 test. So given that I, S, S, G, and I, G are mid-segments, find the missing angle. So remember, in a mid-segment, we have them parallel to the third side. So if we know that this angle is 50 by E and we have parallel lines, we know that the angle by S is also 50 degrees. If we use these parallel lines, we know that 50 is an alternate interior angle, so we have 50 degrees. We also know that 41 and angle D are corresponding angles, so we have 50. Using the triangle at the top, we can subtract the two angles we know to get our missing angles 89 degrees. If we use these parallel lines, we have our corresponding angle of 89 and by angle M is also 89. The angle missing in that triangle then is 50 degrees. If we use these parallel lines, we also know that 41 and by angle S are congruent. So then to get the angles in the missing in the center triangle, we can know that the angle missing from the group of 50 and 41 is 89. In this last triangle, we're missing an 89 degree angle. So in this last group, we are missing a 41 degree angle. Remember that the outside triangles are all gonna have the same measure, and then we can figure out which one is missing from each group of three in the inner triangle. In number two, given that I, S, S, G, and I, G are mid-segments, find the perimeter. So if M, D is 12, we want half of that length to get the mid-segment S, G is six. If we know I, S is five, we can double that to get the length of M, E is 10. And if we know I, G is three, we can double that to get D, E is six. Then we need to find our perimeters. So to get the perimeter of I, S, G, we are going to add 3 plus 5 plus 6, and we get 14. To get the perimeter of MDE, we can add 12 plus 10 plus 6, and we get 28. In number 3, IE is a mid-segment. So remember, a mid-segment connects two midpoints together. We want to find X and Y. So if X is a mid-segment, it is going to be half of the base, so X is going to be 20. It's half of that side 40. We also know that if E is a midpoint, it bisects this side congruently. So both pieces are 14, so Y is 14. In number four, remember that a mid-segment is parallel to the third side, so we can use our corresponding angles. So R and O are both 67, H and S are both 54 degrees. Then to get angle E, we can focus on this triangle where we already know two angles. So we can subtract 67 and 54 from 180. And we get the missing angle is 59 degrees. In number five, we have a perpendicular bisector. So a perpendicular bisector does two jobs. The perpendicular part is going to create right angles, and the bisector is going to create two congruent segments. So by D, we have a right angle, and this segment is divided into two congruent parts. So to solve for x, we have 10x plus 20 is equal to 90. We can subtract 20, 10x equals 70. We divide by 10, x is 7. We also know the segments are bisected. So 4y minus 10 is going to equal 2y plus 2. We can subtract 2y from both sides. 2y minus 10 equals 2. We can add 10 to both sides. 2y equals 12. So when we divide, y is 6. In number 6, we want to find all of the missing angles given that OS is an angle bisector. So that means that it creates two congruent angles. So these angles are bisected. So to find the missing angle, we can do 180 minus 30 minus 82. And we get 68 degrees. So if that angle is 68, is bisected into 34 and 34. To find the angles 
that are missing in each triangle then, we can do 180 minus 30 minus 34 to get 116, and 180 minus 82 minus 34 to get 64 degrees. Number seven, AB is a median. So a median is gonna create two congruent segments. So we have 5x minus 1 is equal to 2x plus 11. We can subtract 2x from both sides, so 3x minus 1 equals 11. We can add 1 to both sides, so 3x equals 12. And we divide x is 4. In number 8, we have an altitude. So an altitude is going to create right angles. So we want to solve for x and find AD. So if we create a right angle, 5x minus 10 equals 90. So 5x is 100, when we divide by 5, x is 20. To find AD, AD is 4x plus 3, but we know x. So AD is now 4 times 20 plus 3, which is 83. In number 9, SO is an angle bisector. Solve for x. So we know that O is the bisected angle. So we can subtract the two angles we know from 180. We get 68 degrees. When we divide that in half then, each angle is 34. So 2x plus 10 equals 34. We can subtract 10 from both sides. 2x is 24. Divide, so x is 12. In number 10, we have an altitude, is it a median? So an altitude, remember, is going to create a right angle. So we have right angles here to solve for x. 24x plus 18 equals 90. We can subtract 18, 24x equals 72. We divide x is 3. Is it a median? So now we're checking if the segments are congruent. So 2 times 3 minus 3 is 3. 5 times 3 minus 12 is 3. So because CD is bisected, a, D is a, a, B is a median because C, D is bisected into two congruent segments. In number 11, find the missing coordinate. So because we have this segment that is bisected into two congruent parts, we can divide the C coordinates by 2 because A is at 0, 0 to get the B coordinates. So we have negative 1 half P and 3K. If we know in number 12 the mid segment and we want the end point, we would double this so we get negative 8H and 6H. In number 11, D is the circumcenter, which means the circle goes around the triangle. And that point is equidistance from the vertices. So AD, BD, and CD are congruent. So we have 7x minus 4 is equal to 3x plus 20. So when we solve for x, 4x minus 4 equals 20. 4x equals 24. When we divide, x is 6. In number 12, the in center means it's inside the circle is equidistance from the sides. So we have ED and DF, 21 equals 6X plus 3, 6X equals 18, so X is 3.